Hello. Hi guys. Look, you guys are doing great. I'm doing fine. We are here with this little buddy and we are all doing great. I'm doing fine. Hope you guys are also doing great. Yeah, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for your support, for your you liking, you 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 you, you you're sharing and you're subscribing for all those who share, who subscribe you, who like my videos. Thank you so much. And my viewers, thank you so much for your support. You mean a lot. You make uh you make me move a step ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, here on this channel, I all I always talk about uh, children uh, well-being, uh, first-time mothers, uh, children in general, foods for children, and all that. Uh, what is necessary for 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 children? And in my previous videos, I've been advocating for breastfeeding. Uh, it's my wish. It's my uh, prayer that all the women breastfeed their children unless otherwise if you're not sick if you're not having any problem if you're if you're if you're healthy and there's nothing uh, wrong with your healthy please breastfeed your baby you know there are some parents who are uh, due to, to to various issues or due to various things that you have read uh this you have read the other uh, article that says uh negative things about breastfeeding of course, in each and everything, there are positive and negative things. But focus on the positive. Why, why, why look on the on the negative part in the first place? So focus on the on the positive part, and then breastfeed your baby because it's very healthy, it's very nutritious, and and all the babies in the world need this. All the babies in the world they need to be breastfed. All babies who are born and are raised well with their fathers, mothers, they are, it's their, it's their, uh, it's their what, I can say, they are supposed to be breastfed, it's their right, I can say, it's their right to be breastfed, because the little ones, they don't know anything, so if you breastfeed them or you don't, they don't know anything, but as mothers, we encourage you, mothers, to, 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 uh, to breastfeed, yeah, uh, today I want us to talk on some uh, few challenges on breastfeeding because in everything there are there are, there are, there are ups and downs, there are advantages and disadvantages, there are, there are do's and don'ts and all things like that. So today I just wanted to share a few a few things on uh, uh, challenges on breastfeeding uh, mothers uh, face of which they should not worry. What is that that you're eating? They should not worry so much. Because as mothers we face them, as mothers we face lots of challenges, and yet I'll just talk on a, a, a few of them. The first and the other um, uh, four uh, most uh, challenge that mothers face, especially first time mothers, remember that in that first week of breastfeeding, it's not going to be so easy. It's not going to be so, it's not going to be a bed of roses. It's, it's going to be so bumpy and so tricky and so things like that. But just calm down. Don't make sure, don't, don't use that as a, an obstacle for you not to breastfeed. You find that in that first week, you find that you get uh, sore nipples, uh, uh, cracked nipples, you find that you, 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 your breast still hurt, you find that when you, when you press, the milk will come very little and things like that and it's very hurtful and even when the baby suckles it's very hurtful but then don't use that one as an excuse come here come 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 <laughs> and it's your time to breastfeed what you're eating what are you eating are you not hungry today are you not hungry today let's see if you're not hungry Let's see, let's see, let's see if you're not hungry. Today you're not so eager for, to breastfeed. Why? You are hungry and you're just lying to me. Yeah, so what I was saying, there are a lot of challenges you can face for first-time mothers when you're breastfeeding. Uh, 
one of them can be so nipples and things like that but the other thing also that a challenge that i face and some most mothers also face you find that the the milk that comes out you feel that it does not satisfy your baby and that's why you find that immediately after after a few days you find a person resulting into formula because you feel that what you are giving your baby does not satisfy your baby of which in most cases it's wrong although sometimes it could be true there are some uh, women that they, their, their milk is very very little to the extent that the, the baby doesn't suckle enough and the baby doesn't get satisfied that's very true but you should not give up so soon when you're breastfeeding your baby don't give up so soon like the first thing you've tried and you see there's nothing coming out then you just stop there and then the result result to to, to film a formula try keep trying let the baby because you know uh, uh what i first when, when i was having my first my first baby when i was breastfeeding in that first week whenever my baby was suckling it was so hurtful so you pull out the nipple from the baby's mouth so you you give the baby a little and then you pull it out because it's so hurtful so you find that the, because it's so hurting the baby doesn't suckle anything are you full today or what it's like today you are not you you are just up to playing you just want to play and not breastfeeding okay yeah so as uh as a, as a mother, you find that when you when you when you when you're breastfeeding in that first week, you find that the, the nipples are so sore. They get sores around the nipple. They get cracks around the nipple. So when you 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 when you're giving your you, when you're feeding your baby, you find that you put it in the baby's mouth, and then because it's so hurting, you pull it out. You give and then you pull it out, and that annoys the baby. You just you, as a mother. You know these little ones, they are so little, but that thing annoys the child very much. And find that because of that, the baby may, 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 may refuse to breastfeed. And then you, you start saying, my baby is not breastfeeding, my baby doesn't want my breast milk. But that is the reason. When you are giving your, your baby a breast, make sure that you, you leave your baby to breastfeed. Even if it's hurting, just... Uh, uh, continue breastfeeding because that hurting will, will reduce as days go by it will reduce but that thing of pulling the nipple out of your baby's mouth it's so annoying to the baby because you give it to the baby and then you pull it out you give the baby and then and that's what i did in my first my first baby uh my first baby child i was doing that because uh, i was feeling that it's so hearty that to the extent that i cannot i cannot handle my, my baby to breastfeed not knowing that by doing that continuously it's where it's my healing process i'll get healthy by doing that but because i didn't know that and i was not educated much enough so i was just pulling it away and then my baby refused to breastfeed completely and that's why my first my first baby uh did not breastfeed actually i used formula when when the baby was uh because she was breastfeeding so little, so I could not continue with that, so I, I, I had to resort to formula. But I'm encouraging a woman there who is a first time mother, please, there are challenges, challenges are there, but then don't let the challenge overtake you. You just have to endure and let your baby breastfeed. You just have to endure and let your baby breastfeed because it will help your baby because your baby will grow healthy because your baby's immune system will be, will be protected but if you don't then that means your your, your baby's uh, immune system will weaken your baby's uh, health will weaken and things like that but i'm not saying that those who, who, who are not breastfeeding they are bad mothers those who are not breastfeeding they are I don't know what I can say. No, that's not my point. We are all mothers, but we are here to just help one another. If you can breastfeed, well and good, just breastfeed. But if you cannot breastfeed, please go ahead and use the other uh, alternative. Go and use the other supplements you can use. If you're using formula, if you're using any other supplement, you can just it's just fine with, with, with you. The way you want to bring your child, because we all bring, we all want, no mother wants her child or to be a bad child. No mother wants to have a sick child. No mother wants to have a baby with a weaker immune system. 
There is no mother in the world like that. We all want healthy children. We, we all want children that are, are good, good healthy. We all want children that who, who are so healthy so they can be uh, a good and with, with, the, with the good cognitive skills and all that. That's all, our, all the mothers wish. So mothers, please, let's try our best. Let's try to breastfeed. But if you cannot breastfeed, all the alternatives that you can use, they are all well and sound. But for me, I'm encouraging you to breastfeed just a mother like any other mother out there. So thank you so much, you guys. Hope you have enjoyed today's video. Hope to see you in the next video, guys. Don't miss out in the next uh, the next video. Just hit on the uh, on the bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Thank you so much. I love you guys. You mean a lot. Thank you. Love you. Bye.